it's Victoria James and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, that means you're not yet a J-Bay, but I would love for you to become one. So go ahead and click that red subscriber button so it turns gray and then you're a J-Bay. J-Bays tune in whenever I upload the chit chat and all that about luxury beauty. And today we are going to be chit chatting and all thatting about, it's more of a, like a versus, isn't that what they, okay. Um, <laughs> it's gonna be the Hermes highlighter versus the LYS how do they compare are they do is this a dupe is this a more expensive uh, less expensive dupe I'm sorry um, do you need the Hermes one I'm gonna answer all those questions for you today LYS introduced these highlighters during the end of summer I want to say August of 2021 and um, I've, I've received the liquid highlighter um, and the powder highlighter I have to say this one is actually my favorite of the two highlight options and here's what she looks like and her official name is the aim high pressed highlighter powder this shade is brave and it's described as a champagne a champagne so I'm gonna quickly swatch this for you guys it is described as a look at me all these damn swatches on my hand. Now Tara Lynn is the one who made mention of this when she did her review of the Hermes highlighter that it reminded her of the LYS highlighter and when I saw her swatch I was like you know what they do kind of look alike let me find out. So I went ahead and ordered the Hermes highlighter and I already had Brave like I said so I went and swatched them and you guys I mean let me show you what I'm talking about. All right so that is a hard healthy swatch of brave and then here we have the Hermes highlighter which is uh, which is in French and I'm not even gonna do it to myself okay um, but the, the shade name is Parma Brass it looks like this here and here is a swatch of Parma Brass above brave all right so as you can see there there is the like honestly you guys she's warmer just a tad just a tad just a little more neutral in comparison but come on now y'all see what i'm talking about the ms is 95 dollars the lys is 19. i know this is a luxury channel <laughs> but i cannot just let this slide by okay so let's look at the application on my right cheek i am going to put the lys highlighter on and as you can see on initial application um, using my Sephora highlight brush it's it's beaming I mean this thing packs a punch on initial application so you do have to buff it out um, and diffuse it in order to you know keep yourself from looking 2010 Instagram ish the Hermes highlighter on my left cheek and the Hermes highlighter I uh, cleaned off my brush real quick use the same Sephora highlight brush and as you can see when it goes on it's just like literally melts into the skin right away and I even went in a second time to apply it again to kind of match the intensity of the LYS so that's one of the key things I would say is the difference in these two uh, found foundations Jesus Christ is the key difference between these two highlighters so when it comes to Hermes the brand itself it is a luxury brand luxury brands do lean more towards uh, subtle sophistication right um, so it makes sense that I had to go in twice to achieve like a beaming intensity with this highlighter LYS um, is a is a little younger in its brand demographic I feel um, so the intensity kind of hitting you right away makes sense to me as well because the brand is black owned and melanated skin does uh, tend to I don't want to say eat color but it takes more pigmentation to achieve a desired look so for me it makes sense that the brands you know in terms of their intensity are what they are when it comes to the color though the color when you actually put it on your face is a dupe it's dupable period so <laughs> that slight bit of warmth that you saw in the hard swatch of the highlighters does not really make a difference on your face to me I feel like they look the same at least on my cheek when I turn so here you are with the um, here you are with the LYS brave aim high highlighter and then when you look at the Hermes side I mean like that looks the same to me okay y'all let me know what you think the only thing texturally speaking that I noticed is that 
LYS has micro glitter that is noticeable. So I'm gonna zoom you in a little bit so you can see what I'm talking about here. You can see a little bit of twinkle twinkle. All right, we yeah, have 4K, honey. Woo. Um, <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> um, you guys, you can see the micro glitter there, but when you turn to this side, to the Hermes side, it's not, you don't see any glitter particles. So that's something for me personally that I prefer. With that said, you guys, I would say 95 versus 19, you decide which is worth it to you. I think these are both beautiful. I would still buy the Hermes. Like, I still like this. I think this is everything. Um, and I like the LYS if you are looking for a less expensive alternative. It's by no means cheap. It's a beautiful, clean, black-owned brand that does the damn thing with their products. I have so many of their products, you guys. Spent my own coin on it. <laughs> so that just lets you know right there I am really down for it shout out to Tisha um so yeah that's it you guys that's it for this video let me know what you think in the comments section of course if you're not yet a JBA by the end of the video I think you just hating you know that 31% all right that 31% I'm gonna go ahead and need you to click the button because you keep coming back go ahead and be a JBA it's a beautiful thing people you know we love it over here um hope to have you appreciate you <laughs> and as always you guys thank you so much for watching I love you and I'll see you next time Mwah. bye